Hello everyone, it's Rachel and it's been a while since I've posted. It's been crazy, it's been hectic. If you've been watching the vlogs, you know I just started a t-shirt business so a lot of my focus and energy has been on that. Not to mention just in general, I have three babies under five years old. So life is pretty chaotic on a daily basis. I wanted to take the time out to show you guys what I got the kids for Easter. This is actually our first time really going all out and allowing the kids to really enjoy the holiday. Now they understand a little bit more. By the way, it is like one in the morning, but all the kids are asleep, it's quiet, and this is a perfect time that I have to film. So I am in my pajamas, forgive me. I figured we could make it like a chill, a chill cool vibe, <laughs> you know, a cozy vibe as I'm showing you all the things. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so for baskets, we just got the simple classic baskets that they sell every year from the stores. And they're the, you know, the little wicker baskets. I got a pink one for my daughter and then I did get this blue one for my son. Now at Walmart, Target, all these local stores, they have uh, really cool baskets. You could have them customized with your name. You know, they sell them on Etsy. They have ones with bunnies and characters and everything, but I wanted to just stick with the classics. So this was like three bucks, I believe. So it wasn't too bad of a price and I really just like it. It's big enough to fit everything inside and it just gave me nostalgia because when I was young, this was the basket that I used to get every year. So anyways, as far as what I got to put inside, I did go to Dollar Tree and I got them these uh, reusable modeling foam beads. Now this is really cool if you have carpet, they will not stick on your carpet. So that's why I prefer these over Play-Doh or slime. You have to watch your kids carefully with that. But this isn't too bad because it will not stick or dry on the carpet, which I appreciate. And so there's an egg, there's a bunny. Each of my toddlers will be getting that. Uh, each of my toddlers also will be getting these magnetic number and letters. So my daughter will get the numbers or letters. It really doesn't matter. One will get the letters, one will get the numbers. This is fun to put on the um, refrigerator and we can uh, learn together in a really fun way. Uh, each of the kids also got these binoculars. I feel like this is probably one of the coolest things that's going to go in there. Baskets. I don't know. I really like this. And these magnetic letters and numbers, these were from Walmart. They were $1.98, so it wasn't too pricey. These were $2.98. So, doesn't matter who gets what, but each of the kids will be getting their very own binoculars with the zebra print, and then we have a giraffe print. So, I felt like this would be cool because they love being outdoors. Also, I got the kids um, some sidewalk chalk, and they're in the shape of little mini eggs. I have to be honest, Dollar Tree has the same thing, but with bigger eggs, so I do prefer Dollar Tree. Um, but it was at Walmart, and I didn't want to make two trips at the time, even though I ended up going to Dollar Tree later that day anyways. But this was close to $3, so anyways, but... One of the kids will get that in their baskets, and then one of the kids will get the bubbles, although they're going to share them both. So, And then I did get this really cute tablecloth for Easter. I plan on decorating the table and then setting the baskets on the table, getting the kids excited, having them play with all of their things, and then they're going to do a little hunt. So that's what that's for. I did get some grass to fill up the baskets, of course. So I just got green or pink grass, um, green grass, um, blue grass, purple grass, all for you know the kids. Okay, so then for each of the kids, they will be getting these little ceramics that they can paint. And this is, again, from the Dollar Tree. I really like the Dollar Tree because they have these little cute things that they can paint for each holiday that comes up. So this is something that we can do together, you know, that day. I got these um, Jack Jackson balls. I mean, this is nostalgia, okay? I loved playing this with, with this when I was young. So this was like $1.98 from Walmart, so... I did get that for one of the kids. And then as far as the Easter eggs, I did get these little cute chicks. It was $1.98. And then I did get this uh, pack of 20 for $1.98. So two of those. So in total, we have, there's 20, 40, and then 12. And then in these, I'm going to be putting some little knickknacks in there. So it says religious egg hunt filler. So this was $8. It's kind of pricey, but 
inside it's just little um you know little toys that i could put inside things that you'd see at chuck e cheese and stuff like spinner tops and things so that when they open up each egg there could be a little surprise inside and i didn't want to do candy because honestly guys they go crazy with the candy already in general I was like uh let's keep them away from the sweets shout out to the sweets this year okay for each of their baskets they're also going to be getting these books that we're going to read to them like I said, it's going to be a really fun day, guys. I'm really excited. But we have Springtime with the Foxes, and then we have Springtime with the Dinos. So they will each get one of these cute little books. I know I just said they won't be having candy. Oh, more grass. But, I mean, I did buy candy. Uh, but they didn't get too much. They're going to have Reese Pieces, and I like how they're in little Easter bags, a dollar each. That was from Walmart. And then they also have these spring pops. Um, so like just pretty much spring pops. They're going to get two. And I'm going to just throw like two in each basket. And then I have some of this. Some more little grass for their basket. Oh, and then this is a paint set that it was for Troy, but he didn't want it. So this is going to go in Aria's um, basket, my daughter. And then last but not least, this is for my daughter. She's obsessed with Peppa Pig, so I'm going to just put it in one of the baskets. Oh, and more decor. This is a banner that says Happy Easter. It was $1.98. I am going to be having um, family friends come over for Easter, so I just wanted to make it a little bit more festive than it's already going to be. So now that I showed you guys all the things for Easter, I'm going to go ahead and um, fill up their baskets, and I figured we could do it together. guys so this is my daughter's basket put together it has all her little goodies in here and then uh, this is my son's basket put together so they have about the same stuff same equal amount and I'm excited to see what they what they uh, think when they see their baskets I know they're going to absolutely love it I may have to get my son two more things just to fill up a little bit more because my daughter she did get an extra thing she got like this type of big book that she's obsessed with so i'm gonna get my son like one more thing that kind of stands out but for the most part that is all guys i already actually started filling some of the eggs <laughs> with their little goodies but if you guys want to see how our easter goes make sure to check out our vlog channel it'll be in uh the description down below and also if you would like to see some of the t-shirts that i've handmade with love then hit up my etsy shop i make shirts for all occasions awesome shirts if you want something custom dm me let your girl know and i'll catch you in our next video thank you so much for watching